Richard Grundy 3, photo, provided by IMPD. Standing before a federal judge, a court-appointed attorney described Richard B. Grundy 3, whom police have called the leader of a violent drug gang, as a benevolent citizen. Grundy has bought Christmas presents for families the last three years, said Grundy's attorney Kenneth Thruggies. He's donated turkeys on Thanksgiving. He's bought basketball uniforms for youth sports teams. Ruggies presented his arguments Monday during a hearing in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Idia to determine whether Grundy would remain jailed while his recently filed drug case proceeds. He's deeply involved in the community, said Ruggies. He's been engaged with the community. More, Richard Grundy 3 and 25 others charged federal drug trafficking case. Related, Spice Road drug case leads three more Idiopolis men to federal prison. Related, special judge appointed in Idiopolis Kuselma Jeff Miller's molestation case. Brad Blackigto, chief of the Drug and Violent Crime Section of the U.S. Attorney's Office, countered that Grundy, 28, represented a danger to the community. He cited previous murder charges, which were dismissed, and a battery charge. Blackigto also noted the circumstances of Grundy's most recent arrest in the 3000 block of Metz Court, which came during a series of raids led by the FBI on November 17 inside the home, Blackigto said, authorities found what they believed to be heroin, marijuana, two digital scales, four loaded guns and $7,300 in cash including $4,000 and the controlled substance suboxo found on Grundy. The alleged drug conspiracy started, the prosecutor added, while Grundy was facing unrelated drug charges in Marion County. Blackigto told the judge Grudy's involvement continued after he pleaded guilty to a felony count of dealing marijuana and was placed on probation. These served as examples of Grundy violating his probation in state court, Blackigto said. After a brief recess, Magistrate Judge Mark J. Dismo cited Grundy's criminal history and his potential for a mandatory life sentence as reasons for keeping him jailed while awaiting trial. One of Grundy's co-defendants, 18-year-old Thomas Bullock, also appeared for the detention hearing. In arguing for Bullock's detention, Blackigto noted his juvenile record, which includes arrests connected to drugs, guns and resisting law enforcement. As an adult, Bullock also has been arrested and released in an illegal gun case in Marion County and a stolen gun case in Hamilton County, Ohio, Blackigto said. He's thumbed his nose at two other jurisdictions, Blackigto said. I just ask this court not be the third one. Bullock, who is accused of serving as a drug runner for a gang led by Grundy, also will remain jailed while awaiting trial. Grundy and Bullock are among 26 people facing federal charges following a moth slog investigation by the FBI, ATF, D and local law enforcement. From about June to November, according to federal indictments, the gang bought methamphetamine from Phoenix, stored it in stash houses in Idiopolis and distributed it throughout the area. The group also dealt heroin and marijuana, investigators say.